Gold doesn't just happen, it follows pathways, geological roads shaped by time, tectonics and pressure. And if you want to find it, you need to follow those fractures. Every major gold deposit on Earth, from the California Mother Lode to the Greenstone Belts of Africa, formed along fractures. In this series, we've shown you how to decode the signs left behind by nature. Let's tie it all together. Gold begins with movement, faults, Normal, reverse, strike, slip, they open space for fluids. These aren't just cracks, they're gateways. Whether vertical or horizontal, when rocks shift, pressure drops. Hot, gold-laden fluids rush in, they cool, they solidify, they leave behind veins and pockets. Gold starts here. Next, we followed contact zones, the boundaries where rock types meet, granite versus schist, rhyolite versus limestone, different chemistry, different hardness. When gold-bearing fluids cross these boundaries, the chemistry changes and precipitation begins. That's why so many historic mines sit on the contact edge. You don't need to guess where to dig. You read the boundary. Sometimes pressure doesn't just move, it blows out. Breccia pipes are, well, like underground explosions frozen in time. Rock shatters, fluids pour in, and gold gets trapped between angular chunks of rubble. These vertical structures often carry bonanza-grade gold. But, you know, they're easy to miss. Learn the signs, rusty rock, angular fragments, and quartz matrix breccia. This is nature's gold trapdoor. Where faults stretch, shear zones form. Instead of shattering, rocks flow like putty under pressure. This is where regional scale belts form. Gold rides along mica-rich schist, ribboned quartz and gouged zones. These can run for miles. If you're near one, follow the strike, find the jogs, trace the alteration. It's not about one rock, it's about the trend. Now, bring it all together. Veins are your field blueprint. They tell you which way fluids moved, where fractures opened, and where the system is still alive. Map the width orientation intersections. Watch for tension veins, cross veins and stock works. Where they intersect, that's often where the gold concentrates. This is where geology becomes strategy. With every mapped vein, every sampled contact, every brexia float you test, you're not guessing anymore. You're reading the earth. You're following the fracture, just like the gold did. This series wasn't about geology textbooks, it was about real usable tactics you can apply in the field today. So grab your compass, your hammer and your map and go follow the fractures. Because where the rock has broken, gold has spoken.